Hi everybody, welcome to Jake's Showcase. I do videos on Wednesdays. Today, I'm going to tell you why I like old people. You see, a lot of times people maybe don't give old people enough respect. The way I look at it, the older, the better. One thing I think is as baby boomers get older and older, there seems to be a lot of sort of focus on older people and elderly problems. But what I think a lot of times people don't recognize is that old people have a wealth of knowledge that us younger people don't have anywhere close to in learning yet. And topics such as relationships, family issues, health. Hey, old people have got an edge on us by a long shot. And even some of our current issues that we look at as so different and erratic. Where do you think they all started from? Do you think the newest pop star phase is anything new to old people? Do you think something rebellious hasn't been seen before? Think about the times during Prohibition. You know, there was a lot of sort of underground stuff, and a lot of times people in modern times sort of idolize that sort of era. Lots of television shows that show the pluses and minuses, and a lot, a lot of times they're very popular. Who do you think was living during those times? Who do you think was actually doing that stuff? It's the old people. Want to be a rebel? Hey, who's more rebellious than hippies? Hippies were the breaking edge of rebellion for their time period. If you think about it, they broke all social trends and they were willing to step out of line with everything that was considered normal in society. Free love? Ever hear of that before? Where do you think you came from? The hippies. Old people are the hippies. Or at least they're becoming old. Drugs? Drug use? You think that's been seen before? Both prohibition times and hippie times, drugs and uh, use of drugs has been used generation after generation. It's been seen again and again. When you look at core pop stars and their breakouts, people like uh, Marilyn Monroe, James Dean, they were the epitome of sex symbols of their time period. They was living during those time periods. And take a look at the Beatles. There's no rock group that could ever touch the Beatles nowadays. So a lot of our problems that we see nowadays, you know, old people have seen again and again and again. One thing I notice about old people too is they don't have a lot of time for shysters. Our shysters come in a lot of different sizes and a lot of different packages, and they're after a lot of different things. Some of them are sort of media shysters. Some of them are sort of money shysters. Some political shysters. You listen to any of the old people, and they'll tell you that they'll come and they'll go. They all go the same direction, out the door. Old people remember what good moral value is. They were sort of part of it. And even though they've gone up and gone down and gone up and gone down, They've lived through it all, and they recognize the value of good, solid moral values. You ever hear about the family circle, the family unit? Well, old people keep talking about that, and how important it is. If you think about it, the older and older you get, the more and more you recognize it's the people directly in your family that are most important to you, and they're the ones you care about the most. Your focus and emphasis on you focusing and emphasizing on your family and your core set of friends is correct. I find by hanging out and listening to old people, you get the best advice of throughout the ages. So much to teach you, not so much about school, but they have so much to teach you about life and how to live properly. Eating healthy, saving money, being good with family and friends, these are the important things that old people tell you again and again that are important. The older and older they get, the more and more they tend to focus on giving. Old people talk about giving. Giving and giving, again and again. Think about it, by the time they're old, they've lived their life, they've made their money, they've either had their family or they haven't, they've either made their fortune or become settled with what they have. But old people are content and they're not striving after anything. Old people are a lot more likely to be honest and authentic with you because they really have nothing to gain. They've already lived their lives and they're satisfied. A lot of times when I walk down the street, I notice that a lot of old people like smiling at me. And I smile back at them too. I think they just like seeing the maybe the promise of the future. They like to pass on their thing. They have no no ands and animosities towards one another when you're older. I spend a lot of time with old people and I enjoy it. And the reason I enjoy it so much is because I feel like they are honest and authentic people with a lot of good lessons for me. Want to learn how to live to be an extra 20 years or an extra 40 years or an extra 60 years? Well, why don't you listen to somebody who's an extra 20, 40, or 60 years older than you? Because they've already done it. 
Should you use drugs? Should you be drinking? Why don't you listen to an old person? They'll probably tell you no. What do you do during the beginning, middle, and end of relationships? Old people have seen it all before. They've done it all before. They got some really good advice for you. How important are things like your spiritual life and your intellectual life? Talk to an old person and they'll give you some really good insights about it. One thing you'll find is that at the end of the day, a lot of old people, they're just so comfortable having a conversation with you. And you can have a good conversation with them. Old people are the masters of one-on-one -on -one connections. They've learned that's the most important thing throughout their lives. Even when you look at the wars that are happening now throughout the world, wars have been seen again and again. The pluses, the minuses, and they know that war is not the answer. Why do I like old people? I think old people are the bomb. They've already made it, and I hope that I make it too, just like them. I've learned as many lessons from them as I can, and they make it even better for myself and the people that come after me. So that's right, live a long and happy life. Skip a lot of the down times and enjoy a lot of the up times by listening to the messages and the lessons that your elders got to teach you with vigor. Thanks for watching Jake Showcase, everybody. Please like my video below and subscribe to my channel up above. I do my videos on Wednesdays, and I hope you have a wonderful day.